What is up, Humanoid Nation? So that sound you're hearing is coming from this bad boy right here. Don't mind the air conditioning. Fuck, is it fucking hot here? Even though it's winter, it hasn't been that cold lately, but it's kind of getting hotish. God damn it, Steam. Anyways, what I'm here for is my review and thoughts on the first episode of Fuller House. God damn, way to go back to Nostalgia Road, man. As much as it was like Full House is cheesy, this thing hasn't lost its beat. Still as cheesy as Full House, because they're going with the same formula, which is cool and kind of stupid, but that's Full House, so yeah, of course they're going to carry it over to Full House. So the first episode, people showing up in cameos, Bob Saget just showing up out of nowhere in the beginning, popping out of, under the fridge. What the fuck was he doing under there? But hey, Bob Saget? God damn, he must be kicking himself for coming back to do a character that he can't stand. Because, like, Bob Saget is not a... What do you say? Uh, fuck. Family-friendly comic, man. Even before Full House, he, that guy was a raunchy comedian. He was stereotyped for years after Full House. Because of the, the humor that he based on, like, family-friendly. No wonder people were, hey, a lot of people were fucking shocked that he showed up in Half Baked and said, I suck dick for coke, and we all can't believe it. It was fucking Danny Tanner saying that. God damn. And hey, my mouth is watering. Not for cock, but for water. <laughs> uh. Man, okay, so Bob Saget, he must be kicking himself. Dave Coulier, god damn, he's the only one in the bunch that actually looks like he grew old. Uncle Joey. Man, he got old and still lives in the basement after 29 years? Actually, everybody still lives in that house after 29 years? You would think that they would, like, move out at least because, like, they said they've been living there for 29 years. Even uh, Jesse and uh, Becky's kids, the twins, I don't know their names. God damn. The twins. I was just calling them the twins. But, yeah, they've been living there in the same house for 29 years in a fucking bunk bed. In that small, rat-ass, little dorm room they have. Not dorm, this little cupboard wall thing that separates their... Their mom and dad are fucking in the next room, guys. They're, you can hear them. God damn, that must be weird. 29 years. But hey, it's also good. Uh, not a good thing that their mom and dad are fucking while they're in the next room. What the fuck am I talking about? The good thing is, like, the kids who played the twins back in the day are actually... The kids now, they're all grown up, 18, 19. I was thinking like, fuck, are these exact same kids from back then? And then they did the intro, which is an updated version of the Full House theme. And yes, it's the exact same kids. Fucking amazing. Judy Sweden, oh my God, she looks still fine as fuck. She's taller though, it's like DJ Tanner's like shorter, so that's kind of a mind fuck for me. Like, the, the little sister is taller than a big sister. And of course she does her line of How Rude, which got a massive pop. Everybody said their lines and got a massive pop. Uncle Joe was, was his have mercy. Dave Coulier was his cut it out, got the biggest pop ever. Oh God, he brought out uh, that wood guy. What the fuck is his name? I just saw the goddamn episode. I never liked his companion. Woodchuck, Mr. Woodchuck, always fucking annoying me. Mr. Woodchuck is made out of wood. Still, this is the same joke after 29 years. Lori Loughlin, fuck, she looks fine. For women, I don't know what it is about women that they look like they never age, but she still looks the same as she did 29 years ago. And I like how the intro, how they're doing, trying to recreate their intro from the 80s. And you can tell they just shot in the backyard. That's <laughs> like John Stamos playing the guitar somewhere in, in the original one playing in the park. And the new one, he's in the backyard on a patio. Dan Coulier is in the backyard doing the same thing, talking when in the park in the 80s. Lori Lachlan, <laughs> they put a backdrop and just put flowers in front of her instead of her going out in the street or somewhere. But Lori Loughlin, goddamn, she looks fine. Fine! Aunt Becky is fine! John Stamos! I swear to God, that guy never ages. He looks the same. 
I swear he never ages. Sure, he has some wrinkles here and there, but the guy still looks good. I admit it, John Stamos, goddamn, he's a good looking man. What, are you gonna fault me for that? It's fucking John Stamos. I love how he made the joke about General Hospital, like, hey, to hire the best actors when John Stamos. I had to look it up on IMDb, because I'm pretty sure John Stamos was on General Hospital. No, but I was thinking of ER, because he was on ER. And yes, John Stamos was on General Hospital for one episode, and apparently his name was Blackie. I'm not gonna watch General Hospital. It's General Hospital. Fuck that shit. Uh... DJ Tanner, Candace Cameron something, whatever who new last name is, looking mighty fine. Grown up. She looks good. She looks good. I love how in the intros they show like the progression of how they go from kids. It's kind of weird seeing them older. It does a mind fuck. Because you grew up with these characters. Like, you saw them last as kids and teens. All of a sudden they're full grown adults and Candace Cameron looks mighty fine. God damn, damn. Who else am I missing? Oh, of course, I love how they made a shot towards the Olsen twins. Like, hey, Stephanie asked her father's like, Dad, where's my little sister, Stephanie, Michelle? Bob Sack goes like, oh, you know she's busy with her, like, fashion empire. And all of a sudden, all of them look into the camera, giving her a massive shot. Shots fired! You know, the thing is about that, when they all gave a sh look at the camera, Lori Loughlin was the only one that looked pissed off. Cause like she, is it me or just go look at it? Cause everyone's doing the face like, it's like, do you think you're better than us or something like that? Like, come on, you should have been here. Lori Loughlin had this face on her like, you think you're better than us, bitch? Well, the Olsen twins are mega rich and they are just Lori Loughlin and Bob Staggett and his full house. I don't blame them, but still, don't bite the fan that fed, fed, don't bite the hand that fed you all these years. Fuck. Olsen twins got rich off Full House. Not rich off Full House, but Full House did them well. They did them well. Uh, so yeah, the new generation. I love how in the original one, you took a three kids. And in this one, they're doing the same thing, but with an extra kid now. Cause like, oh yeah, Kimmy Gilbert. God damn. I had such a crush on her as a teenager, and she still looks mighty fine today. Hasn't lost a beat either. God damn. Kimmy comes in doing her gibbler shit. And Bob Saget, Danny Tanner was like, why the hell have I never have locked a door? Yeah, Danny Tanner, why have you never locked a door? But yeah, Danny, god damn, Kimmy Gibbler looking mighty fine, and she's married to some guy named Fernando. Well, married, was married, they're divorced. I love Fernando. He only showed up one time. I only seen the first episode. I don't know if he showed up in another episode, but goddamn, Fernando is funny as hell. I am Fernando Candinda, Manda, 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 I had a good laugh at that. Oh, Scott Weiser, the voice of Aladdin. Yes, for you, those of you who don't know, kids, Scott Weiser was the voice of Aladdin. And he still looks kind of good. Lost some weight, I think. Yeah, he looks like he lost some weight. But yeah, if you close your eyes, it's still Aladdin. But he lost a boo, man. He lost a boo. Still has his shtick of like grabbing food and leaving. Like Full House, cheesiness and it's all its glory. Oh my God, and how they do flashbacks of like, oh my God, the 80s hair, Dave Coulier and his mullet, John Stamos and his mullet, my God. I completely forgot about the mullets and the 80s hairstyle. It was a bad time. And then the 90s came which was a good time. They didn't have the mullets then. Well, they still had the mullets because people didn't know better. Oh my God, just seeing the mullets in the flashbacks is quite amazing. Kind of a mind fuck too. But yeah, every, and of course, like everybody has to leave to LA or someplace else to get the story started where like DJ, Stephanie, and Kimmy Gibbler are taking care of DJ's kids. And of course, you're gonna have Cameos here and there throughout the season, I guess, because I only seen the first episode, which I like, but I said it's still cheesy. And I like the new updated version of the Full House theme. And Kimmy Gibbler is mighty fucking fine. Stephanie, too. And DJ, goddamn, they're the three women are just fine. Just fine. Just mega fine. Oh, they got Comet Jr. Jr., which I got a laugh out of. Like, three generations of Comet. 
That's cool. I know I'm missing something, but I can't remember. God dang. God damn. But anyways, we're going to see more probably nostalgia moments. Oh, yeah, in the ending, though, like where they sang the song to Michelle back in the day. They recreated shot by shot in this one, which was awesome. Go watch it. But other than that, it's still full of cheesiness. It's full of house. What do you expect? It's fuller house now. But I'm still going to watch it, even though if it's cheesy as hell, I've watched Full House, so why not? Anyways, what did you guys think of Fuller House's first episode? Take it easy, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid Freak Out. Bye.